Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product on distinctiveness and symmetry in AR biometrics. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process. In this process, the AR biometric has been used for the gender classification as well as for the autom authentication system. Authentication system is nothing but to classify the persons. Identifying the persons and classifying as a male or female is an interesting problem and is required in many practical applications such as the biometric systems and other biometric options. The here rule has been considered as a primary reference point to detect the person. Hence for the year based biometric system provides the better authentication than the other systems. Hence, the features are taken and relative distance by using the Euclidean distance method have been measured between the year identification points such as the year features and then the year holes. On the other hand, the year features consider the outer hole like outer loop edges, outer and inner curves and then the helix and edges of the year. We have used the dataset for both the male and female for the classification. In this process, hence, we can be able to classify the gender as well as the authentication purpose. Most probably, we are using the year for the authentication or like biometric systems. Now, we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. This is the overall working flow of this process. Hence, the models such as the input, then pre-processing, feature extraction, classification, post-processing and then the finally performance estimation. These are the models. Based on these models, we can perform the process. At first, the input model. The input is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of the several images that consist of both the male and female of the ear portion. After taking any one image from the dataset, we just move on to the next step that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing step, the first step of the pre-processing is image resize, then the second step of the pre-processing is the grayscale conversion. In this image resize, the image is resized into an optimum size that is the 256 cross 256. 256 represents the row and then the 256 represents the column. After resizing the image, the image is converted into a grayscale image. Grayscale is nothing but the RGB that is the color image is converted into a grayscale format like this. After the conversion of the grayscale format, the features are extracted from the image. The feature extraction is done by using the HOG feature extraction method. This is the kind of the color and texture based feature extraction. After extracting the features from the ear portion, we just move on to the classification part. In this classification part, we have done the, both the authentication purpose as well as the gender recognition. In this authentication, whether the person is authenticated means the result will be displayed as an authenticated or, or else if the person is not authorized person means it will be shown as an unauthorized person. And then finally, we just move on to the post-processing step. In this post-processing step, we just converting the softwares then the performance will be displayed. In this performance parameters, we have a three kind of parameters like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. By using this parameter, we can justify the process is efficient or not. Now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of the process. At first, open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the code, first right click in the main underscore GUI dot M and select the option run. Now the user interface was open. In that user interface, you can see the several push buttons in the right side for the controlling process and then the several axes in the left side for the displaying process. At first, click the button input image. After clicking the button input image, the dataset will be open. Select any one image from the dataset. After the selection of the image, the corresponding image is shown in the axis one with the title input image. After that, go to the next process that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing, after clicking the button pre-processing, we have two stages of pre-processing. One is the resize, then the next one is the grayscale image. The results are shown here. 
after doing the pre-processing we have to save the image for the pre-processed image after saving the image we just open the python by clicking the button automatically it will open the python once the python is open we have to use the spider 3 yeah once the python is open we have to change the current directory then we have to directly execute the main file dot py this is due to the extraction of the feature extraction by using the algorithm named as hog the record tool for ex executing the python is anagoda 3 then the python spider version 3.7 yeah once the feature is extracted the original will be original, original image will be the input for the feature extraction then the hog feature is shown here the corresponding feature value is shown here once the process was completed we just move again for the matlab once the feature was extracted we just move on to the classification step after clicking the button classification the test feature and then the train feature will be loaded automatically hence the table 1 shows the features of the test feature the table 2 shows the features of the train feature after collecting the features we just move on to the classification if the classification result is authenticated means here the results will be shown as an authenticator here the result is shown as non authorized person after the classification we just move on to the performance estimation after clicking the button performance estimation the corresponding performance value is shown here as an value as well as in the table format